How's that for appropriate, huh? Easter is literally this weekend. <laughs> Couldn't have timed this better if I even tried. Hi everybody, Skyla Stardrift here, and welcome back to Skyla's Spyro Year of the Dragon, where tonight we are playing Spyro Year of the Dragon. Funny that. <laughs> Without further ado, let us get started. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the old reset button on the, on the uh, console there. Hi, Dark Patrol. Hi, Blue Bottle. Welcome on in. Ironically enough, it actually takes my PlayStation 2 a long time to actually load games. Compared to the family one. My personal one takes a long time to load games and really doesn't like the first memory card slot. <laughs> it's going well, Flyer. How about yourself? Hope you are doing well. Alright. Here we go, folks. Let's get started with our third game. Spyro Year of the Dragon. This game, ironically enough, I'm good, I'm doing alright, thanks. That's good to hear. This game is probably, well, not probably, it is actually my least favourite of the original trilogy. And the reason why is because the difficulty is ramped up. Not because of the game itself, no, no, the platforming is fine. It's the extra challenges. For some odd reason, they added a lot of extra minigames here, and unfortunately, all of them, or at least quite a few of them, are quite rough. Remember all the trouble we had last week with that stupid ice hockey minigame? Well, it's that. Times like 11. So... Yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's get started here. Let's select an icon. You know what? Screw it. We're going money bags. An evil plot unfolds. Well, that was a mistake. <laughs> a powerful villain emerges. We managed to capture the eggs, your highness. Every last one. Excellent. Maybe you will amount to something after all. Now, go guard the tunnel. Stop anyone from coming through. A desperate rescue begins. To rescue the dragon who is stuck down, <coughs> down the hole. can fit down the holes. Yeah, that was evident. On, let's go. <clears throat> Speaking of no one fitting down the holes. Push! <laughs> Find the eggs and bring them back, Spyro. You're our only chance. You got it. <clears throat> 
The adventure begins. Hunter immediately runs off. We can watch him go. Well, until he can't go anymore. <coughs> so, welcome to Spyro Year of the Dragon. As per usual, please let me know if the game audio is too loud, or if it's too soft, or if I'm too loud, or if I'm too soft, etc, etc, etc. Gameplay wise, it's exactly the same as Spyro 2 Gateway to Glimmer. In fact, it's so much the same that Spyro has kept all of his moves that he learned in the previous game. We do not have to relearn anything. <clears throat> nice follow up there. Some games would just take away your uh, new skills and force you to learn them again, but luckily we don't have to do that. Now, one thing that I also did want to bring up real quick too is I forgot to show off Spyro 2 Gateway to Glimmer's uh, cheat codes. Which is something that I was going to try and show off, but I completely forgot about it. Uh, so, cheat codes for Spyro 2 Gateway to Glimmer are cheat codes to change Spyro's color. There's a big head mode, a flat mode, which is like a 2D Spyro a extra hit point, and a cheat code that gives you all abilities, which I believe would be super, super flame, supercharge, and the ability to fly. There's also a code that allows you to immediately view the credits, which you kind of don't need, and there's also a play Crash Team Racing demo. Here in Spire a Year of the Dragon, there are also some cheat codes which do more or less the same thing, but apparently there's an easy difficulty mode, a normal difficulty mode, a hard difficulty mode, an easy minigame difficulty mode, a normal difficulty game minigame mode, and a medium a medium minigame difficulty mode and a hard minigame difficulty mode. There's a cheat code to get a power-up, only one power-up, but we'll find that later a view credits option, a option to get a different skateboard, more on that later, 2D Spyro, Big Head Spyro, and the color changing codes, as well as a voice access. Press up and down to access different voice clips from the level you're in. There's also level warp plus movies. So there are a range of different codes here, but some of them are the same from Spyro 2. <clears throat> L1, R1, uh, snap the camera back behind Spyro, which is nice. L2 and R2 rotate the camera. Square button to charge, X button to jump, X button again to glide. Whilst you're gliding, you can press the triangle button to hover. If you're not hovering or gliding, you can press the triangle button to have a look around. Cir circle button to flame. It's pretty standard stuff. Your objective this time... Isabel is to recover every single dragon egg. That's our first, and we've got 150 of them to collect. 149 more to go. As per usual, I will be reading the manual in just a moment. Hi Spyro. To look left or right, press the L2 or R2 buttons. To quickly center the camera behind you, Press the L1 or R1 button. You can look all around by holding the triangle button down. We stand up here next to the sunny villa portal. So, you're the one in charge of rescuing the eggs, huh? <laughs> How sad. Look here, dragon. If you know what's good for you, you'll turn around and crawl back up that hole you came through. Those eggs belong to us now, and I've hidden them in places you'll never find in a thousand years. Besides, even if you could find an egg, our expertly trained armies will dispose of you and take it back. Do I make myself clear? If I find you here again, I am going to be very angry. And you won't like me when I'm angry. <laughs> suit yourself. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look at the manual, because it's actually explaining a little bit more. Also, I love the front page of the manual. 
It's Sergeant Bird. Now pay attention. Now pay attention, Spyro. Being a dragon isn't easy, you know. If you're going to learn how to fly, spit flames, and explore dangerous uncharted territory, you'll have to concentrate. This manual is here to help you get to grips with the basics, so don't be a fool. Make sure you read it. So, the year of the dragon. Every 12 years, the Dragon Kingdom celebrates its most important event. In the spring of this year, known as the Year of the Dragon, fairies deliver a new batch of dragon eggs. And dragons come from all around to dance, feast, and generally be festive until everyone drops from... exhaustion. The Year of the Dragon is upon us again, and the fairies have brought 150 eggs to the dragon worlds. Unbeknownst to the celebrating dragons, however, a sinister plot is about to unfold. Far away. Far, far away, on the opposite side of the art of the world, lies a kingdom long since forgotten by dragonkind. So forgotten, in fact, that even the legends about these forgotten worlds have now been forgotten. This sorry kingdom is ruled by a mean and spiteful sorceress who has become quite fed up, frankly, with being forgotten. And as she sits on her forgotten throne, the sorceress has hatched a fiendishly evil plan. A plan to restore the fading magic to, the, to a forgotten realm. A plan to conquer the dragons once and for all. All she needs is a little help from her army of horn-nosed Rhinox, the cooperation of her mysterious disciple Bianca, and, of course, those 150 magical dragon eggs. Spyro the Dragon, what a hero! Life's great when you're a dragon, especially a famous one like Spyro. He's quite a celebrity now, he's defeated two nasty dictators and freed hundreds of creatures from enslavement. My Digimon is also a crying out to me because it wants to go to sleep. Of course it is. <laughs> Who better to send off to the missing dragon eggs and the bravest little dragon in all the dragon lands? Confident and cocky, he often finds that the older dragons don't appreciate his irreverence, but even they can't fail to admire his bravery. And Sparks the Dragonfly. Spyro's best friend is a dragonfly named Sparks. He's a busy little fella and loves to help Spyro collect treasure. After all, if he stays near Spyro, he's more likely to get fed. Sparks just loves dragonflies. Alright, let's see if there's anything else interesting here. Conquering the Forgotten Worlds, the kidnapped dragon eggs have been spread by the sorceress throughout the four Forgotten Worlds, hidden away until the moment she plans to use them. The only way Spyro will ever rescue the eggs is by getting help from the friendly beings who live in the many realms, 36 in all, that make up the Forgotten Worlds. There are four Forgotten... There, four Forgotten Worlds. T-H-E-R-E, -E, Forgotten Worlds. Four forgotten worlds each have a home world and at their center with portals to many realms by visiting each realm spyro will get the help he needs to travel to the next for the next forgotten world her mods realms and portals come across those later <clears throat> travel between worlds the friendly residents of each forgotten world are eager to help spyro move forward in his quest but well, they're not too bright. You'll need to gather the characters from all of the realms in each world so that the residents can put their heads together and help Spyro move forward. In the first world, Sunrise Spring, this is where we are now, the friendly residents will help Spyro use a hot air balloon which can take him to Midday Gardens, the second forgotten world. Once Spyro has gained use of the balloon, helicopter, or rocket ship, he can use it to revisit any world or fight any monster he's visited in the past. Cyberbird doesn't give you too much trouble. It's doing alright. I just didn't expect it to go to bed this early, honestly. Beating the home world, battling the home world monster. Unfortunately for Spyro, his travel to new worlds has a tendency to get intercepted by huge monsters sent by the sorceress. He will really earn his egg trying to defeat these creatures. Monsters will always be stronger than Spyro, but not smarter. Combat skill and dragon trickery will win the battle, and Spyro's creature allies will help him out in each of the, his battles. During battle, the monster's health bar is at the bottom of the screen. As Spyro inflicts damage, the color in the bar decreases. When the monster is defeated, Spyro can continue his journey to the next forgotten world. Just seeing if there's anything else. Oh. Here's something interesting that you might want to pay attention to here. Hi Frost, how you doing? Welcome on in. Speedways. There is a speedway realm in each home world. There are two kinds of speedway events and Spyro can choose which one to play. There's the standard time trial, speed through a course collecting objects within a time limit, 
and there's also race. Race through an obstacle course, making sure not to fly off course. It also notes here in the instruction manual, in each speedway, Hunter is hiding somewhere. Find him to access a special Hunter challenge. Sparks' adventures too. Sparks also gets to show his stuff in Lone Battles. He blasts his way through tight corridors, collecting gems and searching for eggs. Nab butterflies to increase health and find the special butterflies that give Sparks unique power-ups. Zoe appears from time to time to cast a saving spell on Sparks, and if he dies, he will return to this point. Zoe also offers weapons training before Sparks goes into battle for the first time. Sparks round. Sparks will get a chance to show just how tough dragonflies are in special Sparks worlds. His projectile attack, homing missiles, and smart bomb weaponry will defend against waves of attackers, but you have to find special areas before Sparks can go into battle. For each Sparks level completed, Sparks will gain a new ability to help Spyro out. That's important. Power-ups. Power-ups supercharge your skills. Power-up towers are throughout the worlds to get the power-ups passed between the towers, just like in Spyro 2. Power-ups work for a limited time, with some a countdown bar appears on screen to tell you it's the time remaining, and you can return to the power-up towers to recharge. So it's streaming for 25 minutes, but till then I'm gonna hang out with you. Alright, no worries, Frost. Uh, the power-ups. Superfly. Spyro can fly instead of just glide. Press the X button to flap Spyro's wings for some extra altitude. Uh, Superflame. Make Spyro flame into into fireballs that singe anything in their path, press the triangle button to target your fireballs, and invincible, Spyro becomes indestructible for a limited time. As per usual, Spyro on Sparks' health, Spyro begins his journey with five lives, while initially Sparks has three hit points. Sparks for a bit too? Nice. Mm -hmm. Every time Spyro is injured, Sparks loses one hit point and will change color, see the next section for more details. If Sparks takes three hits, he'll leave Spyro to fend for himself. If Spyro then takes another hit, he'll lose a hit point, he'll lose a life. And returns to the last point was always happening. If Spyro loses all of his lives, the game is over. Of course, the best way to avoid this happening is to keep Sparks well fled. As per usual, gold for three hit points left, blue for two, green for one, gone for none. A lot of creatures are scampering all around all of, over the fo forgotten world. There are sheep, ducks, frogs, and tasty bunnies. These are dragon lunch and dragonfly snacks. They nourish Spyro and Sparks and keep them at full health. When you see fodder milling around, chase it down, hit it with a flat charge or flame it. Each time Spyro catches fodder, it releases a butterfly, which is quickly snapped up by Sparks, restoring his health. When Spyro catches 10 fodder, he gains one life. Sparkling butterfly in the bottle is a rare and happy find. Bash it and Spyro gets a full life while Sparks is returned to full health. Remember, Sparks also protects the other playable characters, so they'll want to keep Sparks healthy too. It also lists off Sparks' bonus abilities. I'm not going to read them out to you just yet. Key players. Spyro will also meet other tra characters on his travels, some friendly, others less so. Hunter the Cheetah. A close Spyro friend, since his adventures in Avalar, Hunter is like a professional trainer. The skills he teaches will help you navigate through this huge world. Hunter is also an expert egg hunter, so make sure you speak to him regularly. He might even reward you with an egg. Well, that's crazy, lol. And then in case you couldn't tell, over by the left there, money bags is all business. For a price, a small fee, perhaps? In gems, of course, money bags will deliver some amazing things. He can open tra up travel routes, activate doors and bridges, and sell you the services of some talented creatures for... <clears throat> oh, wow, it actually says it. A small fee <laughs> for... <clears throat> a small fee... <laughs> If you can afford it, you should say yes to Money Mag's demands. However, if you say no, you're likely to annoy the greedy bear, which can be its own reward. Yep, a small fee. I should make that a channel redeem or something like that. <laughs> Zoli is a fairy who saves Spyro's progress through the Forgotten World. When you see her, get close and she will zap Spyro with a progress saving spell. The next time Spyro loses a battle, he returns to the last place Zoe zapped him if he has lives remaining. Remember though, this saving spell only lasts for as long as you are in the level. You'll have to select Save Game from the pause menu if you wish to save your game to a memory card. The Professor. Spyro's old friend, the Professor, also has a research lab in the Forgotten Worlds, and as it turns out, Agent Nyan was, many, many years ago, his prized pupil. Unfortunately, while the Professor was studying aboard in Avalar, his lab has fallen into disrepair. It feels like he's from Avalar and he just traveled to this world and just happened to have a lab. 
Bianca, she is the apprentice to the sorceress and led the Rhinox egg-stealing party. Bianca likes to make threats to Spire. Is Spire scared? Ooh, I'm shaking in my scales. The sorceress. She commands the Forgotten World and the Rhinox. Her motivations are unclear, but she is the force behind the dragon egg napping. Talking about saving and loading a save game. Ah, here we go, hints. Or how to find your way in the Forgotten Worlds. The sorceress has apparently dispatched her Rhinox and Egg Thief minions to hunt for eggs and prevent Spyro from getting his scaly paws on them. There are many different lands for Spyro to explore, and in each there are a number of objectives he must fulfill before he can return home. 1. Help the local inhabitants resolve the problems caused by the Rhinox or other servants of the sorceress. 2. Defeat enemies. 3. Locate all the eggs and gems in each region. And 4. Find the portal that leads back to the home world. If Spyro achieves all of his goals, he can expect to be rewarded with additional eggs as well as obtain access to new regions. If he finds enough eggs, Spyro will finally be able to take on the might of the sorceress herself. But first he must face each of the big nasty bosses of each region. This adventure is definitely no holiday. Cute note to Spyro too there. <laughs> Alright, I think that's enough instruction manual reading for the moment. Let us go ahead and get started. We've got our first level here. And I'm actually debating jumping into it now. As per usual, flame can't destroy metal vases. Unless it's Super Flame, of course. Alright, well I just so happen to know that there's going to be a cutscene up there, so I'm actually not going to go that way. The question is, do I want to go through that portal or not. Yo, Spyro, I just found one of those portal thingamajigs that leads to a different world, but you'll have to glide to get across to it. Press the X button to jump, then press the X button again while you're in the air to glide. Just follow me. Also, just for reference's sake, once again, I'm playing this on the PlayStation 2 and playing the PlayStation Platinum version, which means we might hear some different music every now and then. To get the best glide, press the X button at the very top of your jump. Cloud Spires. I saw something shiny in that cave over there. Let's go check it out. You can get there by hovering. To hover, just press the triangle button at the end of your glide. Cloud Spires, okay. Eh. Oh, I almost forgot. I found this egg. Dull train. Every dragon egg will hatch into a baby dragon, and all of the baby dragons have unique names. There's definitely something shiny at the bottom of this hole. I was about to jump down there, but I think I hear running water, and I hate to get wet. It's a cat thing. <laughs> Indeed, it's a cat thing. All right. This is a super fly power-up, Spyro. Whenever you walk through any power-up that looks like this one, it will allow you to fly for a while. Not pulling any punches here, they're giving us a Superfly power up right away. Well, I'm actually gonna run through this cave first.
Alright. Well, winds work as expected. Amy. Am I? I'm not sure. Either way, that's another dragon egg for our troubles. Do I really want to go and talk to you right now? When my gem count is so low? No, fuck you. <laughs> Normally I complete the world first, but today I think what we might do is go into our first world and then go forward. Welcome to Sunny Villa! Our first world of the game and it has two skill points right off the bat. <laughs> we'll have to flame all of these trees. Oh my, oh my, uh, can you help us? Hordes of ferocious Rhinox have overrun our town and kidnapped the mayor. Are you a dragon? I never believed you really existed. <laughs> okay, was not expecting that. He just ran into the pillar. I do not remember that. That was pretty goddamn funny. Alright. Alright, game. Alright. <laughs> Hi, Pruto. Still welcome on in. Rhinox are giving us gems instead of spirit particles. So it looks like the power-ups will already be activated for each level. Let me catch my breath and I'll kick that other guy's butt. Or I could just do it for you. There you go. We show those two bullies. If they hadn't outnumbered me two to one, I'd have finished them off ages ago. Uh-huh. Sure. You keep telling yourself that, mate. Hi, Cola. Welcome on in. Those dang Rhinox. Mm-hmm. Rhinox indeed. All right, let's head on over. That wall almost looks chargeable, doesn't it? Hi, buddy. Oh, well, I missed you. This Rhinox is too big to charge. What Rhinox? To blame him using the circle button. Yep, some things don't change. You can charge or flame little enemies as long as they're not carrying shields, and you can't charge large enemies. You'll have to flame them. Make sure to flame that tree over there. I love comboing enemies. <laughs> Alright, that's another tree there. Like that. Throughout the stage, you'll find eggs lying around. Like this one over here. Vanessa! Whenever you find an egg, Zoe zaps you for a temporary save. Oh, 
Okay. I knew there was an egg up here. Miles! Miles Prower. But my friends call me Tails. There's another tree as well. Now, I'm actually a little curious about something, and we'll find out about it soon enough. Because I'm not... I'm trying to remember things. You gonna 100%? I absolutely am. You betcha I am. I'm also gonna go for the skill points too in this game. Just like in the previous game, it seems as though skill points will actually get a extended ending. So... We are definitely going for 100%. Plus all skill points. Oh, that's tricky. Almost missed these. Alright, if we glide over here... Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright. To whom it may concern, Sheila the Kangaroo is currently otherwise detained. By me. Please return in a few years. The Sorceress. We can't do this yet. We'll have to return here later. That's what I figured. Mm. Should have done the homeworld first. Hi, Spyro. Each time a fairy zaps you like this, that means your progress is saved. If you get into trouble, you'll return to the last place you got zapped. Remember, this is not a permanent save. It is just a checkpoint. Come here, you. After all these years, I still don't exactly know what that cutscene means. <laughs> it's just a rhino running around, and he kills the chicken. It's like, okay, sure. Ooh, I'm dizzy. I believe in the Reignited Trilogy, there's like a skill point for killing the chicken yourself or something. I'm not sure. Thanks for the help, but I think I would have worn him down in a minute. Uh huh. Oh, that's a big one. Ha ha ha! Smack. Sanders. I'm sorry. That was the ugliest chicken I've ever seen. He then runs off into the portal in order to assist us later. We head up here, however. Hey, skill point! This is a challenge portal. If we enter through here, we'll be able to win at least one dragon egg. Sometimes it's two. Hey, Hunter, what's up? Hey, Spyro. I found this gladiator training arena, and it makes a pretty cool skate park. Care for a test of your boarding skills? Yeah, maybe you better practice a bit first. Just come back here when you're up for a challenge. Straight away, we've got our first skateboarding challenge. There are gems all throughout, so I'm gonna try and grab those first. 
and also practice up a little bit. I might be a bit rusty. Ow. <laughs> I'm gonna try and grab everything, but... I might miss everything on the first run through, but that's okay. We can't even fully complete this level anyway, so it's not really a big deal. Okay, that looks like it over here. I could have sworn there was a vase up there with another gem on it. But maybe I'm maybe I'm dreaming. Okay, it seems to be it up here. There's another gem down here. Training dummies down here. Alright. I feel like this might be everything. Mm, oh. Oh wait, no, there's one more area. I think I've got an idea too. Alright. I think that's everything. I think. I'm not seeing anything else. Yeah. Challenge now? Sure. I bet you can't catch all 15 of the lizards running around here. Just come back if you want some boarding tips from the master. Catch the lizards. And look who it is! The lizards from Spyro 2. Having trouble? If you use the X button to jump off the ramps, you'll get extra height and distance. Oh, I crashed. The lizards are programmed to be just fast enough that they can outrun Spyro, I think. If he was to use his charge attack. Ups it easy, there we go, nicely done. The blue ramps do basically a U-turn of sorts. I'm not really sure what kind of trick you'd call that, but... It's basically where you go up and then back down the same ramp, whilst the orange ones catapult you further up. And forward. Ooh, 
Which is something you probably noticed. Ow. I missed him. Sorry, we'll pass by again and we'll grab him this time. Or not. Where'd he go? There he is. Come here, you. Gotcha. Alright. I think there's just one more left. in a lizard burrow. Emily. All right. If you can catch all the lizards without wiping out and before time runs out, I might be able to scrounge up another egg. It's not going to be easy, though. Well, whenever you're ready, come and talk to me. If you want to try to catch those lizards, I'll start the clock now. Sure. Go get them, Spyro. Go get them, Spyro. All right, here we go again. Gotta go to work. Thanks for the stream, Skylar. Have a good one. No worries, Flyer. Catch you later. Thanks for coming out. Problematic. So if you press the X button to jump at the end of the blue ramps, that's when you spin around. Alright, noted. Ha! Got the both of you this time. Saw another one up here. What? <laughs> wow, that was sweet. And look. There was another egg in the lizard burrow. Daisy. You can go for the course record now if you want. Whenever you hop on a skateboard, a timer will start. Score as many points as you can until the timer expires or you wipe out. Good luck. <laughs> Going for the course record here is also a skill point. Uh, just give me two seconds.
<clears throat> Just checking out the uh, tricks here. Because there's a bunch of tricks you can do here. So, to perform a flip or roll in the air, you need to hold down the triangle button. And then you can spin holding left or right after jumping off a blue ramp. Flip to hold the action button up or down after jumping off an orange ramp. And roll, hold the triangle button down after jumping off an orange ramp and pressing left or right. Then there are advanced tricks that you can do. You can do the toasty twist, which is four right rolls. Dr. Shemp, which is four left rolls. Gulp, which is 750, uh, gulp, which is four spins to the left. Uh, big gulp, which is five spins to the to the left. Crush, which is four spins to the right. Orange crush, which is five spins to the right. Oh, four spins and five spins to the right. Twisted lime, which is a front flip and a roll at the same time. Twisted lemon is a back flip and a roll at the same time. Thrash master, uh, not too sure how that occurs apparently. Unclear apparently, similar to a twisted lime slash lemon. Uh, Super Thrash Master, even more obscure than the Thrash Master, always, almost always done by accident. There's a Nasty Nork, which is one backflip followed by a Twisted Lemon. A Raging Ripto, half a backflip followed by three rolls. And there are two exclusive ones to another level, which we cannot get here. Alright, so we need to get 3,000 points. We can do a half backflip followed by three rolls. Hmm... We only need to get 3,000 points. I'm pretty sure we can do that. Half a backflip followed by three rolls. So... Ow. We have two minutes to score as many points as we can get. I'm going to see if I can pull off this Raging Ripto for 3,000 points. Ugh. Triple spin to the left. Ah. Nope. <laughs> I'm not gonna get it this time, am I? Hmm. Cost record 3,200. Okay, so I need to get 3,200 then. Bother.
Fiddlesticks. Ow. Ow! <laughs> hmm. Oh! <laughs> Smack. Nope. <laughs> Definitely a no on that one. Hmm, nice landing. Never mind, get back up. Ah! Thought I had that too. Oh, fiddlesticks, come on. Ow. Oh. I've only got a thousand points, man. Ugh. That was worth a bit. Nope. Oh, come on, that was a trick. Not that it was worth anything. Difficult. How would one even do like a full left rolls? Like you've got to get enough speed. How does one even get enough speed to do those tricks? Oh, hang on. Idea. Oh, that's not the triangle button. some of these bigger tricks on this tiny stage. This is going to take a minute. Perhaps it's this ramp here. Ah! Need more height and speed.
Nope. Nope. So you can give up at any time. Alright. Noted. Hmm. I press the X button and the triangle button game. Fiddlesticks. I think the trouble is I just need to make sure I'm like crash. And unfortunately I'm crashing like a bandicoot right now. I'm gonna have to look up some of these. Hmm. Yeah, I think some of these are better performed on the... Yeah. So it feels as though the next... Stage for this might actually be better off performing these harder tricks. So, instead, what we'll do is we'll return up here, get a good start, and try not to crash. Nice! And somehow I did the nasty knock on such a short ramp. What? <laughs> oh, I died. How the fuck did I do the nasty knock on such a small ramp? I have no idea how I did that. Honestly, I have no freaking clue. I wasn't even trying to do it, and I just... It happened. 
<laughs> sure. Well, like I said, I have no idea how the fuck I managed to pull that one off. You can go for the All right, let's get out of here. We're done. We are done, and I think I found all of the gems there too. We've also got the skill point here as well for the trees, so I think we're good to exit. We will have to come back here later, though. Unlike the previous game, there are no intro cutscenes to the worlds and no exit cutscenes to the worlds either. Which is a little bit of a shame, they removed that charming feature. Alright, now I think I should have enough gems, especially if I collect these two. Spyro! My, my, how funny to see you here! I haven't seen you since we defeated Ripto in Avalar. We. Well, my business when it was fee. You left, so I came here and struck up a nice deal with the local sorcerers. Lovely woman she is. Seems to be very fond of dragons too. I'm getting paid a fortune to keep Sheila the kangaroo locked up. <laughs> the pesky animal must have been causing a lot of trouble for that poor sorceress. I suppose I could accidentally let the kangaroo escape if you were to pay me, say, a small fee. A small fee? No thanks. Well, don't worry, Spyro. Sheila won't stay in jail forever. The sorceress is thinking about having her executed next Thursday. <laughs> I'm getting paid a fortune to keep Sheila the kangaroo. A small fee? Sure. Ah, Spyro, I love your sweet naivete. Your kind-hearted nature might be your downfall someday, but for the time being, it's making me rich. Small fee? No hard feelings. He's about to get a small fee, all right. Uh, <laughs> I hope you appreciate this favor I'm doing in letting you out. As good of you, mate. No hard feelings, eh? Right. After all, I'm just doing my job. <laughs> I reckon you'd be one of them dragons, then. Yeah, named Spyro. Never thought I'd see one. You dragons used to rule this entire world, you know. Then all of a sudden you left. Whew. Dragons used to live here? Didn't you know? They say it was over a thousand years ago, I think. Just left? Yeah, and the weird thing is, after they left, all the magic in the world just sort of went with them. I mean, they say this world used to have magic coming out the wazoo. Flying ships, singing forests, wishing stones, you name it. But when the dragons left, it all just dried up. Is that why some of the portals don't work? Yeah, they're starting to fade out too, one by one. Well, I gotta get back home and do some damage control. Come visit any time you like. What Sheila said is actually true. Some of the portals just stopped working. You'll need a certain number of dragon eggs in order to restore them. <clears throat> in fact, we should be able to find a few portals that don't work around here. Did I skip that cutscene? Your game camera is currently in passive mode. This mode requires you to control the camera yourself and moves more slowly. If you like, 
I can change the game camera to active mode. In active mode, the camera moves much faster. Oh, thanks. Okay, I won't change it. I'm curious about something. I think I might have skipped the cutscene. We can't have that. I'm late for a dinner party at the Tiki Lodge, and the portal to my home oh, stopped working. Maybe the portal will reactivate after a few more dragons hatch. Ten eggs needed to open the portal. Yeah. As stated, what Sheila said was true. Liam! Some of the portals just won't work. I have a feeling that I might have skipped the cutscene. Alright. Options. Save game. I'm gonna save the game here. We're not quitting, I'm just gonna save the game real quick, because I need to check this. Because I think I've actually skipped the cutscene by accident. So I'm gonna jump through and replay that cutscene. Uh, let's go... Actually, hang on. I might have to take a massive L on this. Uh, let me see if I can... Actually, I might just be able to re-spark something here. Hang on. Hang on, folks. I might be able to re... I might be able to rejig this yet. Atlas. Nope. Options, maybe? General? No. No. Atlas, how do I replay the cutscenes? Nothing? Alright. Can I replay the cutscene? Hmm, okay. Alright, give me a sec, hang on. Because I've either skipped something or I haven't skipped something here. Okay, maybe I haven't skipped something.
I am positive I have skipped a cutscene. Absolutely positive. Alright. So what we're going to do is we're going to start up a new game real quick. <clears throat> we'll just blast through this real quick. Because I just want to see if I have indeed actually skipped a cutscene by accident. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, I can skip these. Skip that too. Remember, I want to show off as much as I can to these games, so if I've missed something, I want to make sure I actually see it. We could also skip Bianca's little speech there if we want. No? Okay. Sure. <clears throat> That's weird. Okay. That is indeed very strange. Let me take a look at the... Yeah, so weird. Okay. Sure. I don't know why that cutscene's not playing. Ah, it's a very strange one. Now, I do happen to notice that up there, and I kind of want to try and get it. Oh, okay, so I can't go that way with it. Ah. I think what you're supposed to do is just simply ride it out. As you normally would. And then glide to the left. No, you're definitely supposed to have the superfly power up after that point. Okay. Well, this could be challenging, but I kind of want to grab it.
There we go, got it. Haha, -ha, nice. <coughs> now, I just want to show this off too. Real quick. <coughs> Once you have freed the animal friend, If you travel back through the portal... <clears throat> I happened to find one of their challenge portals again. But you haven't completed their home world. Spyro, thanks for dropping by, but I'm currently busy in my home world. Come visit me there, Sheila. You'll get a little bit of side text here. <clears throat> I think it's different for every sign, but I'm not sure. What you're supposed to do is you're actually supposed to run in and complete their stage. So let's head into Sheila's Alp. And I'm gonna get the instruction manual ready. Thanks again, Spyro. Now I have to find out what that nasty sorceress has done to my home while I was locked up. <coughs> Spyro's new friends. Oh, hello. Out of our houses. It's okay, Zo. Bobby Pete and I are working on a clever plan to take them back. Uh huh. Spyro's new friend. Sometimes Spyro can find a little expert help during his rescue mission by paying money bags a, f a small fee. <clears throat> Spyro can free helpful creatures who will fight for him. After paying money bags, you must enter their home realm and help them liberate it before they will join Spyro. They will become playable creatures from time to time in some of the realms. Each one will have the full protection of Sparks. When their job is done, Spyro will return to your control. When Spyro is facing down the real powerful monsters he must defeat to advance to the next home world, these friends will also come to his aid during battle. Sheila the Kangaroo. A rare mountain kangaroo with tremendous back feet, Sheila can jump to miraculous heights. She can also stay aloft using the air hop. When in danger, she can unwind in a punishing kick. And if you're st and if you're stomped by Sheila, you stay stomped. Special creature allies. Each forgotten world also has powerful allies who become playable creatures temporarily, taking Spyro's place to perform special tasks. The sorceress was clever enough to catch and imprison these creatures, but she was stupid enough to entrust money bags with them. Remember, for money bags, everything has a price. Sure enough. Sheila's Alps should be the first stage that we should be able to 100% complete. Follow Bobby and Pete up there using your air harp. It's easy, just press the X button again at the top of your jump. Yep. Sheila has a double jump. Sheila plays a little bit differently too. She has a powerful kick move by pressing the square button or the circle button. She only has one attack. Well, she technically has two with the stomp attack. You can get up really steep cliffs like this one with your double jump. Press the X button to jump and press it again exactly when you hit the ground to do the double jump. Once you've mastered it, you can go anywhere you want. Like up here, for example. You can chain double jumps together, too. So once you double jump once, you can continuously double jump as long as you press the buttons. Hmm, that looks breakable for some reason. Is there anything here? No, there's not. Okay. Ah, home at last. Here are 
Well, the savings is to make an omelet, but I think we deserve it more. Ruby. Was sapphire and emerald? <laughs> Last time we tried to get past this moose, he knocked Billy clean through a wall. If you don't mind, we'll just hang out here while you give him a good kicking. Last time we tried to get past. There we go. I'll give that duck a good kicking too. Make sure to smash these rocks as well with Sheila's stomp attack. Or ironically enough, Sheila's kick attack. Apparently that's powerful enough too. Keep on the lookout for high places when you're playing this Sheila. You're having some trouble there, mate. I'm sure you'll get it eventually, right? <laughs> Don't worry. I just keep kicking this rock until it breaks. There you go. <laughs> hey, Sheila, let's play a joke. Take this egg and smash it on Billy's house, okay? I need to get him back for the last time he butted me off the cliff. <laughs> he butted you off a cliff and you're gonna get him back by smashing an egg over his house. Sure. <laughs> Jenny. Sorted. Those guys had a lot of gems in them, didn't they? Alright. Kick. Thank you. or vehicle, just go to the pause menu and select help. Yep, 
There's gonna be vehicles in this game. That's for sure. Unfortunately. Must be missing something. If you press select, you can shortcut straight to the atlas. 374. Okay, I'm definitely missing something. That's still not everything. There's a five gem over there. Is that gonna be it? 400 out of 400. Nice! Three. Level complete. Unfortunately, we don't get a neat little level complete jingle like we did last time. Oh, here we go. The second morning. We just had to complete two worlds. All right. <laughs> That's what it was. Hunter, it's the scary sorceress. I've warned you already. This place isn't safe for small dragons and pussy cats. <laughs> Thanks, but I think we can look after ourselves. Try looking after this. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Come back when you finish witch school, okay? Say. Is it just me, or is she kind of cute when she's angry? What the hell did that spell do to you, Hunter? <laughs> okay, there's the cutscene I was worried about. Alright, cool. I figured it would just triggered as soon as you walked into that forest, so that's why I was a little confused. Sorry about that. Alright, now we've rescued Sheila. She will now assist us in other challenge portals throughout the game. Meaning we can finally return to Sunny Villa and complete it. A lot of people tend to just go through the home world, grab the gems required to free Sheila, and then free Sheila, and then hit Sunny Villa. But I figured we'd do it a little bit differently. Like, this is kind of the way you expect to do it when you're playing the game the first time and not using the walkthrough, so... But I think I'll go more traditionally from this point forward. There's one animal friend in every single world, and it's probably in your best interest to free them first. Come on in, Sheila. Maybe I can find some peace and quiet at the top of the tower. Alas, I have a lost to my love, guarded by evil Rhinox at the top of yonder tower. Can you rescue her for me? Let's make sure I definitely did grab everything on that ledge. Okay, there's nothing up there. That's interesting. Why would they stick that there if you can jump to it and there's nothing on there?
Weird. All right. Ironically enough, you'll find that Sheila is probably the most regular out of all of the animal characters. Her controls feel very similar to Spyro's. Unfortunately, Sheila did not really return after this game, I don't think. Ow, really? Really? Okay. Sigh. I'm taking a lot of damage tonight, that's for sure. Right. Eh, take that. You jerk! Wow! That was incredibly rude of you. That was super freaking rude. Also, I did notice this, as it turns out. There is actually something up here. I should have double jumped from that ledge. There we go. Glad I noticed. Alright, now we can move back over to the tower. I'm gonna kick all of you guys in the next week for that one. How frickin' dare ya. I see... I see London, I see France, I see the level's underpants. Okay, so there's nothing up that one. Really? Really? The only trouble is, when you don't have sparks, Sheila makes it a little bit awkward picking up all the gems. Let's make sure I definitely did grab everything there just before I move on. Okay, how do I get back? Right. That way. Are there any more secret areas I should know about? Because good grief, man. After specifically mentioning, hey, you should probably keep an eye out for high up areas when you're playing as Sheila, and then actively not doing it, I am really starting to eat my words, huh? Uh, I'm actually gonna get Sparks... Sparksy Boy back, there we go. That's a bit better. <sighs> Ups the daisy. Because I know this guy's just gonna pump me off the edge again. Boing, boing, kick. Ugh. The trouble is, Sheila's also got a delay on performing two kicks in a row as well. Like so! Thanks, asshole! Wow! Wow, the enemies have got an attitude here.
Congratulations, I think you're about to cost me more lives than Ripto on the last game. I am not sure how that worked, but I will take it. Ah. Get up, Sheila. Okay, there we go. There we go. Eh. Boot. Boot. <laughs> Take that. Rotten sods. What I'm really hoping for is that I have not missed a single gem. Four hundred out of four hundred. Nice. What? Marco sent you here. I've got a restraining order against him. <laughs> <laughs> Lucy. Tell him I've moved out. Level complete. Excellent. And we should have free access to the portal to leave. Yep, there we go. Great. Let's move on. There is Cloud Spires up there, but I think what I might do now is now that I know that that cutscene is not going to trigger, I may as well move on and complete this home world first. I see an egg at the bottom of this lake. I would go get it, but I don't want to get my fur all wet. Maybe you could get it. You can dive underwater by pressing the square button when you're on the surface, and charge underwater by holding down the square button. Remember. Like I said, Sparks. Spyro has all of his abilities from the second game. Spyro, I've got a special task for Sparks. Meet me back here later, Zoe. If we head in here, we'll see the creatures that we have helped. We've got Sheila and the Mayor so far. for you if you bring back someone from each of the other worlds. I don't know how... I 
I do like, I must admit, I do like how they explain why some of the portals just don't work. And it's because of the fact that there's no magic left in this world, because the magic left with the dragons. <clears throat> Unlike Mario 64, it's just like... Hmm. Bowser has sealed all of the exits. Or all of the paintings and such. Bruce! We found five out of five dragon eggs here. We'll need 20 dragon eggs for this portal. And we got 400 out of 400, so... That is level complete. At last, my portal is working again. Come visit me at the Tiki Lodge. To the Tiki Lodge! I mean, Molten Crater. <laughs> Hi, Agur. Welcome on in. My childhood. This was also my childhood a bit, too. I do apologize if I'm mispronouncing your name. Please feel free to correct me, by the way. Welcome to the Tiki Lodge! I mean, Molten Crater! Uh, I believe, actually, there are... Yep! Okay. There are two skill points in this stage, one of which we can't get right now. And no, those little plants are not it. Rhinox have got shields now! They'll be deflecting our flame attacks almost straight away. Rhinox are running rampant around here, but I can't get anyone out of the Tiki Lodge long enough to do anything about it. Well, it looks like it's just you and me. I'll keep a lookout while you sort out the Rhinox. Some Tiki Lodge, huh? Like that. Ooh, magma Slug. Ah! Excuse you, that was a bit rude. Whoa! You guys have a very long range on your sight. Our first egg is Ricky. Great. Off to a solid start here, I think. Sparks the dragonfly healthy, Spyro. If his health is low, torch a little creature like the slug below me to release a butterfly. If I remember well, if you burn all the white flowers, you get a skill point, but I don't remember if this is only in the remastered version. It looks like it's only in the remastered version. Uh, there are two other skill points here. You might be thinking of burning the trees, that was in, uh, Sunny Villa. I'm actually surprised I haven't taught me about the shields yet. But I'm sure Zoe will eventually. Pfft. 
Nice miss, mate. <laughs> Careful. Oh, hey, a key. Well, that could be useful. If we run all the way back. There are still locked chests in the game. But not nearly as many as there were before. Also, I'm trying to remember if Clay was the one that we talked to. Outside of the portal or not. Note, Sergeant Bird is currently on an important mission. To the inside of a cage, tough luck, the sorceress. run through this door. Well, actually, they paid me to guard their hideout, but uh, that's irrelevant. I'll happily let you through the gate to chase them down for <clears throat> a small finder's fee. Very well, Spyro, it's up to you. Maybe if we both just hold hands and think happy thoughts, the thieves will decide to return the eggs themselves. <laughs> Spyro! Okay, okay. Thank you, Spyro, and best of luck catching those dastardly egg thieves. I guess those egg thieves are going to get what's coming to them. It's too bad. I always sort of liked those guys. <laughs> you always liked the egg thieves? A bug which allows you to go into the portal of the sergeant bed by jumping at the, the top of the cage. Oh, huh, interesting. The egg thieves are back from Spyro the dragon because of course they are. There are eggs. What more did you expect? Are you the dragon looking for all those eggs? Because I saw a shifty looking character with one over there. Are you the dragon looking All right, let's run around and grab the uh, gems first. You look breakable. Now apparently you can just regularly charge that, but I'm gonna use the supercharge. It'll feel more satisfying that way. The skill point is called supercharge the wall. Too. 
The one thing this game does really, really, really well is spreading out all of the gems. Which is both a blessing and a curse. You really have to look for some of them. I'm afraid. Hi, buddy. I'm actually not sure how many egg thieves are actually in the game, but... And I actually think it's less than the first Spyro game. Moira! Charge, you'll be able to catch him. You should catch that thief before he steals something valuable. <laughs> Skill point. Oh, I almost had him. Come here. Come here. Come on. There we go, gotcha. Oh, bye egg! Bye egg! Hello. Come with the frog here. Great! Alright, I'll just do a quick lap around. Just to make sure I haven't missed anything. If I can help it, I'd like to stay out of the challenge portals once they're done. Those guys ought to be locked up. <laughs> With that, we have access to the front of the stage again. We'll grab a couple of extra gems and then we'll head back through the portal. There's nothing more we can do here. We'll have to return later. That's okay by me. Also, if you thought the second game had backtracking, oh boy! This game's got it in spades! Seashell Shore. Let's head on in. And there's a skill point here too. And we're straight underwater. While I was gone, my friends borrowed the Rhinox submarine. And then they took it for a joyride. And, and then they smashed it into a big pile of rocks. Oddly enough, the Rhinox failed to see the humor in the story and stuffed my friends in the jail behind you. 
Also, I thought the guy we were talking to was Snappy to seal, and now this guy's like, while well, we were gone, while well, I was gone. Hmm. You'll notice the seaweed here from returning from Spyro 2. That won't be important until later. Actually, I don't think it'll be important at all. Not in this stage, anyway. Sure to smash the seashells. Also, uh, yeah, they kind of did break the submarine, didn't they? Grab that. Hey, there's the beach. If you want a quick summary of your progress in a world, you can press the select button to open the atlas page for the world you are in. Thanks for the tip. Oh, that's right, I think this world might have the first vehicle segment. And it's a bit of a doozy. Oh hey, there's an egg down here. Jason! These guys got barrels. Explosive barrels of that. Oh, I see. We're playing Donkey Kong now, are we? Well, unfortunately, I was actually somewhat decent at it. Like that. I still need to pick up Mario vs. Donkey Kong, come to think of it. Might actually surprise you, but those games are actually related. Mario vs. Donkey Kong is actually the sequel to the Donkey Kong game on the Game Boy, which is a remake of the original Donkey Kong arcade game. It starts off the same, but then it very quickly changes, and opens up like, I think, a hundred levels or so. Never played that one either. Ow. Thanks. There. Take that. Right. You can hover to get more distance when gliding. Just press the triangle button at the end of your glide. Ow. Oh. I feel like I should have been able to make that.
I thought this was going to be a Sergeant Bird mission, but nope, I'm kind of remembering it being a Sheila mission now. Okay. Yeah, alright, alright game. I'm supposed to get up there. Cool. There we go, alright. I was doing it wrong. There we go, that takes care of that. Surprised there's not an egg up there. Who's ready for a somewhat difficult challenge? Come on in. Yeah, I think all the signs are going to say the same now for Sheila. Oh, hi, Spyro. Some of my seal friends are trying to take down a Rhinoch fortress. I'm about to go and lend a foot. I love the smell of singed Rhinoch in the morning. <laughs> go get him, Sheila. Now, Sheila is not afraid of swimming like Spyro, or, or, well, just like Spyro, I should say, but she can only dog paddle on the surface and can't do much more. Hang on a minute. I want to check something. Yeah, this is the this is the same seal who was there at the beginning of the um who was there at the beginning of the stage. It was Snappy. They changed his name to Sebastian in the in the actual level, and then Snappy's over here. We are on borrowed time here, so we'll need to move quickly. Don't have to sound so excited about that.
I've noticed that the double jump goes through everything. And I think that's your key to beating this area. There we go, all smashed. Hang on, three went in, only two came out. That'll hurt. Wow! I can't believe I survived that blast! It's a good thing I kept this egg nice and safe in my pocket. Molly! Alright, looks like I grabbed everything else here. Our beach is your beach. Stay and get a tan if you like. Yeah, Snappy says nothing more. I'm gonna have to remember that for future, uh, future levels and such. I wonder if the same thing happens in Molten Crater as well. Let's, let me check that out too. Yeah, so it's rocky at the Tiki Lodge at the start, and then Clay meets you in the med in the middle of the stage, and I think Rocky gets you to the end of the stage, right? Yeah, so Rocky meets you at the start of the stage before you jump in the portal, and then you jump, and then you meet him at the end of the stage again. <laughs> You would think the characters were the that you uh, that jump through the portal with you are the ones who are in trouble, but no, they actually get through the entire stage. A bit weird like that. All right, so that's Sheila's stage done. Sploosh. Now, if I remember correctly... Let me slide down here like that.
forgot to tell you. One of the Rhinox had this egg in his lunchbox. Dizzy. Oh, I missed this. Better grab that too. seeing something here. Ah, oh, this must be it. No? Confused. There's supposed to be a there's supposed to be a chicken here. There it is. Okay, who's ready for another difficult challenge portal? I'm not. I hate this one. We had a dragon egg for you, but we used it to test our ultra high speed super fluidity tunnel. The good news is that it made it to the end of the tunnel without a scratch. The bad news is that there's no way to get it back out now. The tunnel is chock full of Rhinox and floating mines. The only way to retrieve that egg is to defeat every single Rhinox in the tunnel. Oh boy, here we go. Don't hit anything. Ah, fiddlesticks. Charge! Three, four, five, six. Watch out for mine. If you hit a mine, it's over too. Oh, fiddlesticks. So, right, right. Right, right. Right, left, right, 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 left, right, left, almost missed.
Okay, that did not take me nearly as many tries. Duke. Three hundred and sixty out of four hundred and four out of six. Oh, that's why I'm missing the other gems. That's right. I didn't do the other thing either. <laughs> Did not do the other awkward thing. Oh, I hate this world. This world is full of difficult challenge portals. Ludo the Rhinoc has challenged us to a naval battle. Our speedboat versus his nuclear shark submarine. If we win, we get the dragon egg he's guarding. If we lose, we have to spend a month in KP. KP. Kitchen police, by the looks of it. What do you say? Do you want to take on Bluto? I don't blame you. I already owe seven years of kitchen duty, and I'm not about to risk getting another month. <laughs> oh, we just walk straight out. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Spyro just said nope and walked straight back out. <laughs> Sometimes that will happen when you're attempting one of these challenges. Okay, good luck. Just remember, stay away from the sharp end. <laughs> now, I don't think yeah, okay, this is not worth its skill point in this version. Press the X button to speed up, press the circle button to fire a missile, pick up crates to get more missiles. Oh, I died. Yeah, this is a this is a slightly slightly rough one. Whoa! What 
11 there. <sighs> really? Really? Oh. God damn it. See what I mean? Some of these missions can be very annoying and very difficult. some decent damage there. No, I s zigged when I should have zagged. There we go. Wow! That's the first time Pluto has ever lost. You got a lot of talent for someone so purple. I hope this egg was worth all the trouble. I mean, you're purple too. <laughs> Jackie. Pluto out of the way, we can finally grab our gems from this area. Oh my goodness, I just realized something. I missed a stage. <laughs> Oops. Ah, oh well, never mind. Uh, hop to the secret cave. Must be in Sheila's area. Why else would it say hop? I'm pretty sure that area is finished, so let's head back to Sheila's area. There must be an area near Sheila that we missed.
That looks like a secret cave to me! Jared! Six out of six, and this should be... If I'm not mistaken... Yep, our last gems too. Level complete. We're out of here. Cool. We better go back to that portal that I completely freaking missed. Can't believe I forgot that portal. I was so keen on grabbing Sheila that I completely forgot an entire stage. We better head back to Cloud Spires or whatever it's called. Is it Cloud Spires? Pretty sure it's Cloud Spires. Let's find out. Yep, Cloud Spires. Got it. There we go. <laughs> I believe we should be able to finish up this stage too? Question mark? Okay, let's go. Uh, alright. Oh, you know what? It's this stage that teaches us about the, um, shields. That's why they didn't mention it in Molten Crater. Because it's this stage that we learn about it. <laughs> the Rhinox have shut down our cloud generator, and I'll never see a rainbow again. Sorceress would want more rain after what the sun has done to her skin. <laughs> Activating the switch activates the machines. If my wings were big and strong like yours, I could easily glide across here. Press X to jump, then press X again in the middle of the jump to glide. That was smooth! Nothing better than comboing your way through a bunch of enemies like that. Alright, where are we going? Over here, okay. Alrighty. Hello, Diamond. Welcome on in. Oh. The metal armor those enemies are wearing protects them from your dragon flame. If you hold down the square button, you can defeat them with your charge attack. There we go. There's the tutorial about metal shields. Diamond would like me to hydrate, so I better do that real quick. Diamond wants me to stretch too, so hang on. Let me stand up. Yeah. I need to be careful doing those stretch redeems because as soon as I stand up, I feel the urge to use the bathroom. <laughs> Alright. Let us continue. <clears throat> Come here, you two. There you are. I believe this level really opens up once we reach the end of it. So we better make a move on. Because all those pads should activate, I think. Stephanie! we go. Take care of that, and 
Mm, well, let's, let's move around here. Oh, I missed! Never mind. <laughs> How are you today, Skylar? I'm doing well, Diamond. How about yourself? I hope you are doing well today. Today, tonight. I'm not really sure what time zone you're in, to be honest. There's one thing that I've not asked you. <laughs> uh, where... Where now? Over here. Let me grab these. Alright. Okay. Lower that. I think I just came home from work and I got... So it's 3.21pm your time. Okay, gotcha. Well, what do you well, want? Well, my favourite dragon. The sorceress has put me in charge of guarding these bellows. However, I suppose I might look the other way if I was distracted by counting gems. For a small fee? No way, you doofus. What? No? What else are you going to do with all those gems? Buy flying lessons? <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> well... Sure, whatever. Ooh, yes, precious, precious gems. Well then, Spyro, you may now use the bellows any time you wish. Best of luck on your little egg hunt. <laughs> Need to play remaster someday. Remaster trilogy was really good. <laughs> I haven't made such easy money since the sorceress bought that mayonnaise for sunscreen. You might want to be careful swindling people like that. I mean, at least you're not swindling Spyro that way. Yet. <laughs> oh, hang on. There is some gems down here, I thought so. button to hover at the end of your jump. Ah, we'll be fine. Oh, where did you go? Oh, there you are. Now, I don't think we can go through that way. Nothing out there, all right. Like that. Buff, buff. Oh, you activated the bellows? Maybe I can get the cloud generator working again. Yeah, I activated the bellows by paying money bags. The Rhinox must have been using this thing to clock up the cloud generator. Henry! Oh, that's another challenge portal. <laughs> that's not what I was expecting. This is also not the challenge portal that I was expecting either. Also, hi, you're an egg thief. Are you keeping track? That's three egg thieves so far. I'm interested to see just how many egg thieves there actually are in the game. And if there are more or less than the original game. The original game had, I think it was 12 eggs. And 12 egg thieves. 
All of them could be found in the first three worlds, which is very strange considering the game is six worlds. Okay, looks like I've got everything on the inside, or on the outside, I should say. I mean, aside from one thing. Gotcha! Brian! Use the superfly power to flame the spirits in the bell towers. We usually wait. Jake! Mission one done. However, I think we need to head back to the start of the stage. Okay, so this one just takes us to the end of the stage. Oh, right, that one takes us to the... Right, 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 right. I don't need to be here. <laughs> I'm done here. I don't need to be here anymore. Okay. That's the only well when that is working in the entire stage, or was working at the start, anyway. Uh, alright. So this one here leads elsewhere. Careful. Steady. Don't fall off. Right. Over we go. Eep. Eh. Claire. Um, why do I have a feeling that wasn't it? Like there was another whirlwind somewhere. I mean, I could be wrong, but it felt as though there might have been. Maybe? 
Maybe I was wrong. Doesn't look like there is. Alright. Over here then. So in here should be the rest of the gems, right? Well, that's a bit sneaky. Let's stick to the ground floor and grab the gems on the ground floor. Ninety-five out of four hundred. I'm missing something. Okay. And it's definitely not in here, right? Definitely not in here. Hmm. Alright. So I'll have to have a look for it when we get back. Our sun has gone out. We can make a new one with our lava fusion cauldron and three sun seeds. But they keep burning up before we can get them in the pot. Step on the switch to get a fresh sun seed and keep planing it until you get it into the pot. If you can't keep up with the sun seed, remember, you can always hold down the square button to charge. Each sun seed will follow a different pathway. There we go. Now that's what I call a sun. Here, you can have this last sun seed as a souvenir. <laughs> Lulu. <laughs> yep, I think your sun seed is a dud. We have six out of six eggs. Man, we've already got 30 dragon eggs. We're doing pretty well so far, I think. Now if we can just find that fifth, that five gem that we're missing. Let's head back through the entire stage.
Hi Levi, welcome on in. Uh, hmm. I'm doing well, thanks. How about yourself? There you are! Humph. Right, this should take me to the end of the stage, right? Yep. I'm okay. That's good to hear. Oh, I flew into that one one again. Whoops. That's like the second time I've done that. Actually, no, it's more like the third time. The third, the first time I was like, well, that was an accident. Oh, well, I guess I'll do this challenge then. <laughs> then I just happened to fly into it twice more. <laughs> there we go. Gym in the mornings, that sucks. Oof. The only gym I go to is one that gives me badges. For, beat <laughs> for beating up a team of their toughest fighters. Take you to a land closer to the sorcerer's spiral. You can also use it to come back here whenever you want to. Favorite machine is the vending machine. <laughs> I guess you just hop in the balloon now. Don't ask me how it works. I just showed up for the punch and cookies. <laughs> hop in the balloon whenever you want, Spyro. <laughs> This balloon will take you to the great Tiki Lodge in the sky. Just jump on when you're ready. What is it with you guys and your damn Tiki Lodge? <laughs> right, so we can't do that yet. We can head to Midday Gardens. But, Bianca strikes back. Listen carefully, you stupid girl. I'm only going to ask you one more time. Why haven't you disposed of that infernal dragon? I I tried to scare him off, Your Highness. Twice. He's just not afraid of anything. Not afraid? Not afraid? Why have I been training you all these years? Use some magic. Here's a spell. Whip up a monster and eliminate him. Uh, kill him? I don't care what you do, you useless brat, as long as you get rid of him. You, come here. <laughs> Boops. How's Perth? Eh, it's fine. <laughs> the weather's actually started cooling down a bit nice bit now, so it's actually nicer to go out for walks and such. Oh hi Sheila. When I heard the sorceress was planning to ambush you, I got here as fast as I could. No worries though. This wussy green toad will be no match for the two of us. Okay, before we even get into this particular fight. Today was 30 degrees. Three degrees, so yeah. Uh, just to let you guys know, there are no skill points for beating the bosses without getting hit. So no, I'm not even going to try, because there's no reward to do so. Funny that. All we gotta do is simply charge into him. Once he's in the lava, Sheila will take care of him with a stomp. That deals damage. Then he'll try and Sonic the Hedgehog his way to us. But don't worry about Sheila, she will always 
manage to score the hit. Get in the lava, you. Just get in the lava, mate. Thanks, Sheila. One more hit ought to do you in. Pa! Take him out, Sheila. Grayson. Also, Sheila, how the hell did you get here without a hot air balloon? And you weren't here in the hot air balloon. Yep. Mm. Doesn't make sense. The sudden craving for soup. <laughs> Welcome to Midday Gardens. Oh, hi again. Nice of you to join me. Okay, Dragon. You've managed to survive longer than I expected. But you haven't the slightest idea what sort of dangers lie ahead of you. I suggest you grab your cat friend and whatever eggs you found and hightail it back home while you still can. I'm telling you this for your own good, you know. Nah. I think I'll keep looking for eggs. <laughs> Now I can travel by K radio waves. But same. Oh, hey, there's a dragon egg under here. Dave! We're actually not done with that first world, by the way. There's still quite a lot to do in there. But I figured, whilst I'm here, I may as well grab all of the, um... All the stuff that's here. Hey, Spyro! Zoe told me that if we hit that doodad up there, the portal will open. Why don't you try spitting this rock at it? When you've picked up a rock, try using the triangle button to aim. I'll see you in there later. Enchanted Towers. I'm actually not sure if Punter has a mission for us there, ironically. I'm gonna go sleep. Okay, no worries, Levi. Have a good night. Slide. At least it's no stupid hockey game. Humph. Mingus!
cool. Remember, you can't jump whilst you're sliding around on ice. Icy Peak is over there. And I spot a dragon egg. Oh, really? Gotcha! Trixie! And I think I just remembered too, I'm not sure if I can actually get everything in this hub world yet. But hey, we'll do our best. I think what we might do is clear out this hub world and then possibly call it a stream. When you see a ladder or walls that look climbable, just jump onto it and you'll grab it with your claws. Thanks, Hunter. When you see a ladder. Friendly reminder that you still have all of your abilities. Spire 2 once again. We have a super flame power up over there. Another spark stage. Modesty. Thirty six X to open that portal up. Hi, Spyro. This is a super flame power up. You'll find more just like it scattered throughout all the worlds. Why don't you try this one out by using it to break all these planters? I think I saw a Rhinoth hide an egg in one of them. Thank you. 
Hey, 400 out of 400. I have no idea where this last planter is, though. Oh, it's right there. <laughs> there it is. Matt. I think the eggs are always in the last... Or the egg is always in the last planter. Five out of five. Level complete. Now, the trouble is, I'm not entirely sure I've got the time to do this stage. I think it might be better off if we take the L on this one. I mean, we've done pretty well so far, but I want to rescue Sergeant Bird before I move on. Because we still have Molten Crater to finish off. And then we can go back to the Mushroom Speedway as well. There's no point in going back without grabbing Sergeant Bird. If you know what I mean. So, but I think we might be better off leaving that for next time. Sergeant Bird's level is quite, can be quite a bit of a long one. So, I think it's probably for the best if we call it there for tonight. Oh well. <laughs> This was about what I expected to do in terms of progress. So, thank you so much for watching Spyro Year of the Dragon and my Skyler Spyro Year of the Dragon event for tonight. Uh, we will pick this up next week where we will free Sergeant Bird and we will move on as well as do a lot of backtracking. We'll be able to finish up the entirety of the first world once we rescue Sergeant Bird. So that's why I kind of want to stop here. Now then, uh, tomorrow night we have Pokemon Stadium slash Pokemon Yellow version. However, I also want to announce here tonight that uh, we will be doing another stream of Pokemon Stadium uh, slash Pokemon Yellow version. That will be on the... Um, that will be on Friday night, I think it was confirmed. Uh, yeah, so we'll be doing two streams of Pokemon Stadium slash Pokemon Yellow version tonight. Or, perhaps, I might skip the stream tomorrow night and just do the one stream. I, mm, I don't know, it sounds like a, that doesn't sound like a terrible idea either. But, uh, anyway, there will be a Pokemon Stadium slash Pokemon Yellow stream on Friday night for sure. There might be one on uh, Wednesday. I will have a... Th there might be one tomorrow. I will have a think. I will have a little think. Normally I wouldn't, but like, just because of how this week is playing out and the fact that Easter is around, so people are available. Yeah, spoiler alert, I'm gonna have guest a guest on, so... Again. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, the fact that things are available this week I think we might go ahead and do the um and either move it or we'll just stream it twice because why not <laughs> and it make up for the three streams this week anyway but eh, I don't know I'll, I'll think of something anyway hope you guys have enjoyed Spyro Year of the Dragon we're just getting started I will see you all either tomorrow night or Friday night for Pokemon Stadium slash Pokemon Yellow version. Definitely poke, uh, definitely on Friday night, maybe tomorrow night. I'll have a think. Pitsy, 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 pitsy. All right, good night, everybody. Uh, let's see if we can find someone to raid. Where are we going? Um...
Perhaps we'll go and raid Fancore tonight. We've raided them a few times before. They're playing Knight vs. Giant, the Broken Excalibur. Never heard of it. Looks like a top-down roguelike. Anyway, let's go and raid them. Just waiting for these ads to finish up. Alright. Have a good night, everybody, and I'll see you all next time.